When NASA launched the Mars Curiosity mission and it successfully touched down on the red planet in 2012, we had a lot of hope for it. But we can only do so much as, as far as helping the rover that far away. We can download software, but what about when the wheels start taking damage? And what about when the, the chassis itself is damaged beyond that? It's starting to happen now. Uh, there, there has been some wheel damage to the Curiosity's aluminum wheels, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So there's a, if you look there, there's a little bit of splitting. And they're worried that it could endanger the wires inside. And they're trying to make take measures uh, here on Earth and also by experimenting in the Mars yard at JPL to try and make that live a little longer, I guess, in st before we launch the next rover in 2020. I mean, they had to know that stuff like this was going to happen. Of course and they did. There are six wheels, so conceivably, even if one of them totally fails, they could just keep soldiering on with the remaining five. Uh, the thing that they're worried about is having to drag that mangled wheel around and maybe well, that then kind of damages components. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What can we do? We can't, we can't fix that from over here. Yeah, uh, there was punctures between the grousers. Those were like the traction things on the wheel. And that could lead to many more problems. So they're hoping that they can solve this by one, running Curiosity backwards, and two, avoiding cap rock, which is a, a harder than we thought material on Mars that is helping to destroy the tires. I'm just glad that this is reinstilling the idea that Mars is not a welcoming planet in some <laughs> degrees. Like everyone's like, "Hey, Mars, I don't know." I just kind of had this essence of a happy, friendly Mars, planet. Mars, we're gonna settle there in 2018. Yeah, you know, no, we're not. Not really, because <laughs> everything's gonna get cut up by rocks. Yeah, pretty um, much. Make I mean, sure to bring your heavy-duty Doc Martens. Right, exactly. Oh. You know, like that girl. Uh, <laughs> um, I. I I think because this is happening now, it's good for future missions to, to have this foresight now to see this. And it's, it's good that it's not serious damage yet, and they mm -hmm. have, they're have they able to work out variations to, uh, to hopefully minimize future damage. But I, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm honestly, I'm just happy that it landed at all. <laughs> at all. I, mean, I was surprised a great job to getting find it down there. that it weighed a ton and it landed that well. Yeah and that it's taken this long for it to take damage to the wheels and the grousers. Um, so they're, they're working here in, in the Mars yard to see if they can come up with solutions. Uh, engineers are going to upload some software to give them greater control over the wheels and maybe just avoid those bad areas altogether. So they're, th what they're doing is they're looking for an easier track I guess to their destination, mm -hmm. um, which is the foothills of a three-mile tall mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so they can they could change their game plan. They can go a different direction than the scheduled route, uh, which they've done before. As you saw those pictures, the one time that it drew a penis <laughs> in the sand. Right, right, right. So I don't know if that was planned or not, or they have they plans for like a larger like Mars dick butt, no. which I think That'd would be, be nice. cool. That would be, be a, nice. a hell of NASA troll. That would be, that would be cool. Look. I, I just think for all that it took for it to actually get to Mars and land properly at this point, a small break in the wheel is just like a mercenary scar. They yeah. have to wear that with and pride. And after two Pretty years, badass. two years are running yeah. around. So. Well, they're doing their best to make sure Curiosity gets back on track uh, and not ruined on the way. Please let us know what you think of all of this below in the comments, and please subscribe. <laughs>